Hello guys, this is Rama. I just want to let you know that I've uploaded another video and I love you guys to go and watch it. And if you like it, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, press the notification button. In that way, you don't miss any of our content every time we upload it. I hope you enjoy the video. Guys. The Hadza rely heavily on hunting for their sustenance. Typically, the men are responsible for hunting, while the women gather tubers, fruits, and other plant-based food. And that's what is going on now. So making sure your kid is quite full before you're taking care of yourself. They often use traditional hunting techniques like bow and arrow, trapping and netting to catch animals such as antelope, baboon and birds. The Hadza's hunted trips are not rigidly scheduled, but depends on the availability of game in their surroundings. They have intricate knowledge of the environment and are skilled trackers. The hunters often venture out early in the morning, following the animal tracks and employing their expertise to locate their prey. Once successful hunt takes place, the meat is shared among the community members. It is fascinating to learn about the Hadza people's continued practice of their traditional way of life in the modern world. Their hunting activities represent a unique cultural heritage and a sustainable way of obtaining food within their natural ecosystem. Okay. 
In the Hadza community, both men and women have specific roles and responsibility when it comes to food preparation after a hunt. While the men are primarily responsible for hunting, the women play a crucial role in processing and cooking the meat. After a successful hunt, the Hadza women take a charge of cleaning, butchering, and preparing the meat for cooking.
They may remove the internal organs, skin the animal and cut it into small pieces for roasting or cooking. The meat is typically cooked over an open fire or roasted on hot amber. The Hadza people do not typically have permanent settlement and their cooking methods are often simple and practical. The women may use sticks or skewers to roast the meat directly over the fire, turning it to ensure even cooking. Sometimes, they may also boil the meat in water or prepare stews using wild vegetables and other available ingredients. While the men and women have distinct roles in Hadza society, there is a strong sense of communal sharing and cooperation. The meat is typically shared among all community members, ensuring that everyone receives their fair share of the hunt.